Uh, hey there, um, if you watched uh, any of my videos before, you may have heard me say this uh, before uh, previously as well. This is certainly not the first time I'm going to say it. Uh, there, uh, you know, all of us who publish on YouTube are looking forward to people watching what we do, right? It's, it actually gives you uh, uh, some, uh, not some, a lot of satisfaction if somebody does watch what you do. Uh, but you know, the majority of uh, YouTubers, including myself, uh, don't enjoy the luxury. Certainly not at this moment, right? It, it takes us a lot of time, luck, whatnot, uh, to get to that point. And while you do that, you see other people post content and it, uh, that receives a lot of attention and views and you're wondering why. Uh, sometimes uh, you you learn from it, other times you're just jealous. And if you have to put a number, 2% of the time you learn from it, 98% of the time you're just jealous. There's no hiding from that fact, right? So I watched something yesterday uh, where the dude actually is on a plane and then he explains how they serve food on a plane, how you open up a tray and then you eat the food. Um, now I get it, right? I, you could call me whatever that I'm sore and I'm like, hey, uh, I, I'm not able to accept the fact that um, there's only three people watching my content, including me, my wife and my son, which means there's nobody else watching it. Uh, that aside, I get it. I understand point taken, right? Uh, someone's got to explain to me why you might want to even do a video of course it's your choice but just you know hypothetically speaking or whatever thinking aloud why do you want to do a video where you show how food is served on the plane uh, this has to be addressing people who've not been on a plane right so you're trying to explain what it means to be on a plane but if you were to do it even then right even if you your honest aim is to actually explain to folks who've not had the whatever right uh, the opportunity uh, to have been on a plane before you tell them about the food that's served on a plane and how the tray opens and how the seat looks like you've got to tell them how much you probably don't want to be on that plane right i mean i've, I've read recently that you know the coach seats have gotten smaller narrower they've added like two extra rows or something like that on, on most of these planes so if you're like me who doesn't enjoy plane travel at all and you cannot afford better plane travel like business class, first class, private planes and all the kind of cool stuff and all that you can afford is coach. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, how, I don't know how someone can sell coach to anybody. If you've not been on a plane and if all that you can do is be on coach like a lot, lot of us are, like a lot of us, that's the only thing we can actually afford. I think it's actually better to not be on the plane, right? So when you're telling those people, you've got to tell them, hey, you know what? You're actually blessed because you don't have to be on the plane. You don't have to be sitting where I'm sitting right now. Uh, rather than explain the fact that food is, uh, you know, I mean, what does that explain in a croissant? I mean, I don't know. What does that explain about plain food at all to begin with? It's a bad question. I'm sure there's 50,000 ways that you can do it and there's better ways to doing it. Yada, 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 all said and done. But I think if you're trying to sell plane travel to an audience that's not been on a plane because you're trying to explain what a tray table is, uh, then you it's your prerogative. I think it's, it's your duty to almost tell them that you would rather not have been on this plane. It's, it's you know, you'd have been on a train, on a car, or you'd have walked all the way 10,000 miles to get somewhere. All of them are better ways to get wherever it is that you want to get to than be on coach, right? If you think otherwise, let me know. Let me know why coach travel is so great, right? Anyways, um, this video, just like a lot of the others that I do, is not going to make a lot of sense. But what the heck, right? If you watched it, uh, that means you didn't have anything else to do, anything better to do anyway. So thanks for watching. Uh, and if you went on a plane that did not have a tray table, then you should post a video because, yeah, I would like to know about that. But if it does, don't be, don't even bother, right? Let's, I mean, we've got other things to do. Um, Talk to you soon and, and remember to manage your projects on snowpal.com even if you do not like this video. Thank you.